Crew at five, we begin with a News 3 exclusive as another person comes forward claiming he too was roughed up by the same Metro officer already charged with using excessive force. Good evening. I'm Jessica Moore. And I'm Jim Snyder. Officer Richard Scavoni charged with using unlawful force on a woman suspected of being a prostitute. Tonight, in a News 3 exclusive, the paper trail one local man says he has against that officer. News 3 Sergio Avila is down at Metro headquarters for us tonight. And Sergio, this new case you just learned about dates back almost four years. Jim, back in 2011, Miles Machado says he was also roughed up by Officer Richard Scavone. And it's important to note here that Scavone was cleared of any wrongdoing by Metro because of these charges, but Machado feels that's only because there was no video evidence like there is in this latest case. He feels that it ultimately came down to the officer's word against his. It brought me right back to the night I was assaulted. Miles Machado is speaking of the moment he heard Officer Richard Scavone had been charged with misdemeanor assault. He's big, husky. He looks like a, a linebacker. Machado says it all started because of his prescription glasses. He wears them at night and while driving. Machado says he's HIV positive and his symptoms include sensitivity to light. He was pulled over the night of December 23rd, 2011. And at first, he says the officer was polite. Like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, he came back just a different person. And he came and he hit my head, got my glasses like this, and he ripped them off, threw them down at the emergency brake, and, asked, and yelled at me, why are you wearing these glasses? Machado filed a complaint with Metro's Office of Internal Affairs. They determined Machado either did not have enough evidence or the officer's actions were warranted. The Citizens Review Board agreed with that investigation. He claims that he asked me to remove my glasses and I refused to do so. His next recourse was to take Scavone to court. Machado represented himself and lost two cases. Now he thinks of how things would have been different if there was video evidence like there is in Scavone's misdemeanor case. If justice was served on my case, this officer would probably not be on the streets, maybe behind the desk or fired from his job. And this would not have happened to this woman. A case that has yet to go in front of a judge. Scavone's attorney says they'll be able to prove the officer did nothing wrong in the latest case. A case that no doubt Machado will be watching closely. Just to be uh, absolutely clear, Scavone charged with a misdemeanor battery, not assault. I mistakenly said that in that package. Now, Scavone remains on paid administrative leave pending the result uh, or the results of this investigation. He is uh, expected to be in court to respond to that charge next month. Reporting live at Metro headquarters, Sergio Avila, News 3.